The lush green peaks and valleys of Anderson County are part of what makes this area of East Tennessee so special. These foothills of the Appalachians were formed millions of years ago and are home today to people who love their way of life. And there's small places of worship found along the country roads in these parts, like the Dutch Valley Missionary Baptist Church. Here, folks can still be baptized in a nearby stream, not realizing perhaps that right next door, a normal looking field is actually a wondrous wetland, home to a subterranean mystery. There is uh, just something special about this place and having a baptismal in the creek that bisects the property, I think that's a good sign that there's gonna be something special here. Can't have enough different kind of shovels, you know. Carl Williams is a crayfish expert from the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Carl and his friend David Withers from the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation have decades of experience studying a little known animal most of us hardly ever see. Look at that guy right there, that thing's eight or nine inches tall. The first thing you do is try to locate the chimneys or the entrances to the burrows, and usually that's a hole with a, some excavated mud and dirt that they brought out. It forms like a little chimney, thus the name. Their passion explains why they are about to spend the better part of a day meddling in the mud. Well, you just try to open that chimney up, and sometimes you can do it with your bare hand and, and get down in there. Sometimes you have to take shovels. And, well, that's an old trick. Usually you dig out a piece uh, with the shovel and set it aside, and then you can fill it up, and then you can just work it, get a hydraulic action, kind of entice the crayfish to come up and see what's going on. Anything we can do, uh, dig them out or pump them out to increase the likelihood of us collecting specimens, it's still really hard. It's like enjoying your childhood all over again. I mean, uh, I really can't think of a better activity on a, on a Monday afternoon than to get dressed up like this and get your arm in the ground, sometimes up to your shoulder or better, and then just kind of wiggle your fingers around until something starts to tickle them a little bit. Two highly educated men on the ground searching for an animal they can't see. Sugar and spice. This is a good sight, awesome sight. So far, all I've caught in this burrow is my own glove. Lots of muddy work. Come on out, come on. And a little sweet talking. Come on, come on, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. That's more like it. Help to bring their primary target to the surface. Ta-da. The vibrant valley flame crayfish. Oh, he is pretty. They are the, probably the most aptly named crayfish that we have the valley flame crayfish. They live in the valley, and their color is often this beautiful orange, sometimes a bit more subtle burnt orange, sometimes a tad darker. No one can explain why this crayfish lives only in the valleys of Anderson and Roan counties in Tennessee, and only on one side of the nearby Clinch River, an extremely limited range that has led to it being listed as state endangered. A lot of these habitats have been changed since settlement for various purposes. Some have been intentionally drained to make uh, lands that were much wetter for much more of the year, uh, to make those lands more usable for uh, homes, agriculture, businesses. Whatever the reason, encroaching civilization or a quirk of nature, the lives of the valley flame crayfish and others David and Carl found on this day like the more common thorny tail crayfish, raise more questions than there are answers. We got lucky enough here to get a first form male. And this gives us an opportunity to take a closer look at it and feel good about what we're seeing. They're an absolute gem of the valley. I challenge you to find a more beautiful creature living in Anderson and, and Roan counties. And it's something that we just don't see. Which helps explain why digging in the mud is so much fun and important. Each exploration of muddy earth brings the possibility of discovering new populations of this colorful crayfish and the hope of one day being able to remove it from the list of endangered species. I'm Alan Griggs on the Wild Side. <laughs>